I think open accessibility for resources is just going to have to be the norm. I think it's a very positive thing uh, and I think that's the way we have to go and the way we are going. There's real potential for creativity and teaching and learning if we have more access to open resources. It really shows the maturity of the, of the topic and the practitioners that we can have a multi-session conference um, in, in Cardiff. It's a very friendly, welcoming conference of enthusiasts who have a can-do attitude. I think the thing I'm uh, most looking forward to at the conference today is the uh, sheer number of amazing people that are here. Uh, this conference is, I mean, there's always good papers, good keynotes, but it's all about the people, really. Open education is something that's critical. It's about sharing the best things that we do. What excites me is the ability to get more minds, more experts, more novices around the world to think about and contribute to human knowledge in the same way that you can on Wikipedia. I think the exciting thing is that you're not reinventing wheels all the time. So you're able to take good quality materials, repurpose them for your own you know, courses or whatever, and then actually make that publicly available again so that other people can build on that further. So open educational resources for me are ways of reaching out to that vast community, the millions of people that are in the country rather than the um, few tens of thousands that, that are actually happen to be at university at any one moment. There's a moral imperative to make a lot of the collections of content we have more open so that more people can benefit from them. Um, I, I don't think there's, there's a compelling reason not to make educational content open. We're funded by the public sector. It doesn't matter whether funding comes from a funding council or whether it comes from students. We're funded from the public purse through the loan system. So why should higher education, who are being paid by the public sector, hold stuff to themselves, make it look as if it's private? I, th I think the biggest challenge that we're facing is just lack of awareness. So uh, in the United States, there about 75% of the faculty don't know about OER. While there's high quality materials out there, I think very often people will take them and use them, but they perhaps don't have the confidence to, to repost them once they've repurposed them. And actually, I think there needs to be much more of a culture of doing that. There's still a fear, I think, among many um, academic staff that if they make their education resources open, it will almost jeopardise their jobs. That it, you know, to some extent, their teaching identity is um, contained in how they create their content, how they create their pedagogic experiences for their students. And I think letting go of that is seen to be very difficult. Things are getting better. Progress is being made, uh, but it's still a long way to go before we get to a situation where we all want to be in, where resources are much more openly available and that digital learning is, is totally mainstreamed. One of the things that Creative Commons does is we ask governments and foundations when they give people money to build educational resources or to build research resources to require Creative Commons licenses on what's publicly funded. The future for me is that universities uh, and what we do become relevant to the whole community, that we're not seen to be working in uh, ivory towers pursuing our hobbies at the public expense. I would certainly hope that the future of open education in Wales is that um, it becomes a part of everyday practice so that all staff who are engaging, all staff engage with it and repurpose materials and post them and it is just something that is done, not something that people have to remember to do. There's always a problem of time with making any change in education but I think once you get a critical mass of enthusiasts then that really helps to get the ball rolling and I think we're seeing that happening now both in Wales and elsewhere.